What is the unit digit of 7 to the power of 55? 7 to the power of 55 is a huge number. It's going to be really hard to, you know, calculate out the whole thing and find what the unit digit is. So let's just take a um, little more, you know, easier method to approach this problem. This problem, what makes it approachable is that we're only looking for the units digit right here. So let's make a, let's consider a table. Let's think of a table where you have a number 7 to the power of n. And this column is going to be n. And this is going to be the unit digit of 7 to the power of n. So when n is 1, it's just 7 to the power of 1, which is unit digit is 7. And if n equals 2, it's 7 times 7, which is 49. And the unit digit is going to be 9. And let's keep going. 7 to the power of 3 is 243. So the unit digit is going to be 3. And 4, it's simply just going to be 3 times 7, and which ends in 1. And let's just do a couple more values. 5 is going to be 7 to the power of 5. It's just 1 times 7, which is 7. And just one more. It's going to be 7 times 7, which ends in 9. So you probably noticed while I was writing this table that the values repeat. So 7, 9, 3, 1, 7, 9 is going to be 3, 1, 7, 9, 3, 1, just like that. So the value, the units digit of this number 7 to the power of n repeats every four numbers. So what this means is that 7 to the power of 4 is going to end in 1. 7 to the power of 8 is going to end in 1. The same with 7 to the power of 12, 7 to the power of 16, you know, all the way up to 7 to the power of 52. It's all going to end in 1. And that's because all these numbers, they're uh, multiples of 4. So we know that 7 to the power of 52 is going to end in 1 which means that 7 to the power of 53 will end in 7 because you're multiplying one more 7 and then 7 to the power of 54 will end in 9 and then finally what we want 7 to the power of 55 will end in 3 so we know that the answer for this is going to be 3 a more formal way of thinking of this problem would be instead of showing all this we just simply divide 55 by Four. And you know, that 4 comes from the fact that the unit digit repeats every 4 numbers. So we divide this by 4, and this becomes 13 with a remainder of 3. That means that this group repeats 13 times. So by the 52nd number, you will have a unit digit of 1, but you have a remainder of 3, so you count from the top. So until you get to this 3 right here. So this is just simply a, a more cleaner way of showing your solution um, using division instead of counting out which one's going to be next. But whichever way you do it, the answer is going to be 3 for this problem. Thanks for watching our videos and if you have any questions or comments, please let us know at Math Express. Happy learning!